Hi, I'm Eric Miller, and this is Ask a Developer. Our first question today comes from David, and he wants to know, what are the advantages of building a native or a shell or hybrid application? The advantages of a native application are just familiarity. For you and your team as developers, you know your iOS and Android SDKs already. You know how to code for them, you know how they function, you know what they're supposed to do, and that's really helpful. But it's also familiarity for your users. They know how to feel, flow, and navigation, and everything about applications they already use on their native devices. And trying to reproduce that is a little bit tricky using hybrid. However, there are advantages for hybrid. If you're building for all three platforms, so having one single code base and UI is very helpful and you can usually get apps out the door a little bit faster. But there are disadvantages to using hybrid applications and that you're kind of relying on third-party frameworks to keep up with your rapidly moving iOS and Android platforms that are out there. Personally, I say go with native. With hybrid, it's going to be tricky to reproduce that native feel and I think that your developers as well as your users will thank you for it. Our second question comes from Raptor Adapter, and she wants to know where is user submitted data stored, such as images, videos, user settings, or login information. For images and videos that you're uploading to websites such as Facebook and Instagram, those already live on the user's library on their device, so you can just leave them there once you're finished. However, for sensitive information and user settings and logins, you probably don't want to leave that stored on the device and offload them somewhere to a cloud or a server service. For preferences and settings, Again, that depends on what it is. If it's something as simply as turning on the sound or whether they have a dimmer on, that can be stored on the device. For any sensitive information, you want to do your best to never store that on the device. That's it for this episode of Ask a Developer. If you have any questions, tweet them to hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments below.